Well, the playoffs are locked in for these two teams. Pride and the pursuit of a perfect season are on the line. Offensive Player of the Year candidate and Philly running back Mary Rose Roach heads the LFL Cinderella team, the Philadelphia Passion, as they take another step toward Vegas and the 2011 Lingerie Bowl. Only one team stands in the way on the road to Vegas. That's the Tampa Breeze, led by a pair of all-fantasy rookies in Bryn Renda and Sage Steinmans. Who will be the top seed in the East heading to the conference playoffs? Find out next on LFL Friday Night Football. In the time to decide in your mind if you got what it takes for the shine. Yo, don't be wasting the time. Yo, get erased from the line. Yo, lights and the cameras are flashing. Fans on their feet and it's time for some action. Thunder and lightning, they fighting and clashing. High speed chase, race and keep smashing. L, 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 this is Friday night. Breeze Nation out in force. This stadium's going crazy. We've got a terrific crowd. Sean, let's go to our keys to the game. What a rookie combo here in Tampa. Tommy, you and I have seen these girls all year long. Do they play like rookies to you? Nope. Absolutely not. And it starts off with Bren Renda. She's a safety that's all fantasy first team, and I think an MVP candidate on the defensive side of the ball. And at wide receiver, 5'10", goes up and get it. Some of the best hands in the league when it's at its highest point. And there's Sage Steinmetz, Tommy. She can carry the ball on the offensive side from an offensive lineman position, but she will rust the passer with an unbelievable motor. And a pair of veterans anchor the Philadelphia Cinderella run of 2010 with Roach and Lusby. Is there a better all-around running team in the league, Tommy, than this? And you look at Mary Rose Roach, she's at the top of the league in almost every offensive category. And Tyra Lusby, she'll play some wide out. Last year, she was their number one running back. Move her to wide out just for another threat for Philadelphia. And your favorite, LFL 2.0. K.K. Matheny may be small in stature, but she's an incredible competitor. Yeah, Tommy, she doesn't start, but I think we're going to get a long look at her as they prepare for this team again next week in Jacksonville in the playoffs. She's got a Doug Flutie-type presence about her, small in stature, but a big arm. You'll see her in this ballgame. This arena's rocking. We're ready for some playoff-like football. Philly and Tampa, and it's next on LFL Friday Night Football. Great crowd on hand. We are ready for kickoff with Sean Salisbury. I'm Tom Dork. Glad you're along with us. This is a playoff-like atmosphere, partner. And here we go. Kickoff. Heather Perez with the kick, and that goes out of bounds, and it will be Tampa ball at their own 15-yard line. Not a bad deal, even though it goes. It's not like the NFL where you get punished so bad, Tommy. Right. Sometimes you may not want to kick to some of these girls. Not a bad move by Heather Perez. There's Denisha Crawford, at quarterback. Tommy, under fire a little bit this year, right? Although, yeah, she I mean, sure is. For, on the outskirts, I don't know why. I mean, she may not be the best thrower, but she leads this team to an undefeated. She manages right? yes. them very, very well. I don't need, and there's always this, well, is it K.K. Matheny going to come off the bench? And the people have created this, and I think Denisha, although look at the numbers, aren't bad. Tommy, a quarterback rating of 106.3, the girl can play, and she's a leader. Motion comes to the near side. Handoff goes right up the middle. There's Tiffany Powers, and she'll rush for about five yards. Powers, just a strong straight-ahead runner. Second team, all fantasy. Yeah, at running back time, we've got 12 all fantasy players in the game. <laughs> Which makes sense. Yes. Because these are two dominant players. Here we go, handoff goes around the right side. That's Steinmetz. She's going to get about seven yards. That's a first down, and Tampa starts off just what they do, Sean. That little four or five yards, they're very happy now, with that. Now, Sage makes second team all fantasy tied in, Tommy, but you see her taking that inside handoff. She'll take that inside handoff from the, the, the basically it's the left tackle tight right, end position. Right. You're basically playing both and the inside handoff. So you'll see her carry the ball a lot, and she's a beast when she's running with it. First down now. Got a little threat of offsides, but it didn't happen. Little pitch goes to the left side. That's Bryn Renda. Renda just fights forward. This is just what Yo Murphy at Tampa wants to do. Three, four, five yards of pop. They want to lull you to sleep. Did you watch the Chicago Bears and Mike Martz offense, yeah. Tommy? This, yep. You know, you, you saw them in the playoffs, and it's the same way. Yo Murphy comes from Mike Martz's background. The coach will formation Philadelphia to death to see how they adjust in the first half, and then he'll come out and try to make some adjustments in the second, as long as they're executing like that. Powers is the running back. Motion comes to the near side again. Crawford fakes a give, throws to the left side. That's Julie Roth, and he's getting everybody involved now. And that's, a, a, what, maybe no gain on that one, maybe a gain of a yard. But Yo Murphy is getting everybody a touch on the first drive. Well, he played wide receiver on Mike March's team. He understands. This is what Mike, there was time when I Mike threw it 25 times in a row. 
I mean, Mike will light up and do it. And the reason I say it is Yo's taking the same. And I'll hit yeah. that a lot because we've seen him all season long. This is Yo's MO, and I love the way he approaches. Oh, I do too. And I think the players have to love playing for him. Motion again. Back to a running back. Fake. Now we're going around the left side. That's Dave Steinmetz again. And look at her just power ahead. She's down near the 10-yard line. Rushes for about eight yards. Yet another first down. It's first and goal. <laughs> Lined up at the tight end, runs at running back. She'll be a beast on defense. All fantasy on both sides of the ball. Second team on one defensive end alternate. But I have a hunch she'll be able to get into those games, Tommy. This is a great weapon, but you talk about it. Seven, eight people will touch this ball during this game. Yeah, and especially on this first drive, I think it's great. Now tight, very tight stack. Crawford rolls out under pressure. Had a chance to run it, and it's deflected and incomplete. Gassler got a hold of it and almost intercepted that. Incomplete, and it's second goal. Danielle Gassler is a great ball hawk, Tommy. She also will be on the all-fantasy team. She made second team. She runs to the football, and we've watched her all year long, and there's three great safeties in this game. With oh, Danielle yeah. on one, and then Gorman and Rinda on the other side for Tampa on defense. They run to the football, but when they get there, they finish. A lot like Shannon Renee in Chicago yeah, does also. Yeah, good point. Really good point. Second and goal at the 10. Motion goes to the far side. Crawford handoff and I think that was Dosher and she lost about two or three yards that didn't fool Philly at all and guess who was in the backfield Mary Rose Roach Tommy we'll hear her I mean all when we talk statistics long. rushing all that but she also may be as good a defensive player as we have up on that side of the ball too third and goal third and long and now she slips Tiffany Powers slipped and she's going to be thrown back for a loss of a couple and now it's going to be fourth down for Tampa on their first drive of the game. Colleen Burns with the initial hit. And this is what you got to do to Tampa. They may formation you to death, but you still got to line up and execute. The penetration by Philly is big so far. They have to throw the football. They do. And going nowhere, not even a chance. Comes up very short. Tyra Lusby with the tackle. Sage Steinmetz got it, and it's going to be Philly ball. Big I, stop by Philly early. I guess we should add a fourth safety to it because Tyra Lusby's pretty doggone yeah. good too, Tommy. And she'll play right receiver on the other side. And you mentioned it's for folks who are just tuning in and, and haven't seen this great football all year long. Tommy mentioned they have to throw. Well, he meant that rule-wise. you got to throw two out of every four downs. There's Mary Rose Roach. In my opinion, clearly the MVP candidate in this league, Tommy, statistically oh, yeah. and everything else. She's playing quarterback. Christy Bell's got a broken hand. Roach hands off. First play from scrimmage. McCrary, Jalissa McCrary, rushes for about six yards. Liz Gorman, among others, in on the stop. And Tommy made the point. Christy Bell's a normal quarterback and is a really good tall fantasy second team. Yep. Broken hand out of this, so you take the best offensive player in the league. With Ashley Salerno standing there saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Out down the court. Don't forget about yeah. me, who is obviously the other MVP candidate out west. But you move Mary Rose Roach to quarterback and say, do your thing, girl. We want the ball in your hand. Roach will get it. Fades back, looking, steps up. Now she's going to run it. She's a beast when she does this. Look at her go across midfield. She's down to about the 23-yard line. Ashley Lowe on the stop. Mary Rose Roach rushes for a first down. Nice job by Ashley Lowe. She also knows how to play. She's a she's an all-fantasy corner. Tommy, we're going to be mentioning that all the way, but I know we're going to take a little break here, but you've got to keep an eye on Roach if you want to have a chance. We'll be right back. They've got Jaleesa McCrary, they've got Tyra Lusby, they've got Mary Rose Roach. Three terrific backs for Philly. Roach in at quarterback now. All three of those are on the all-fantasy team, yeah, on one yeah. position or another. Yep. I'd love to see Roach catch a couple passes, too. Could be shocked. Motion goes to the far side. Run comes around the left side. Look at her go. That's Lusby. She's going to get about six or seven yards, and it just continues. And let's listen into this play. Liz Gorman can finish, and Liz Gorman can do a little talking. She's too. the reigning defensive MVP, making a great case with her teammate. And you can talk about Deborah Poles, and you can talk about Latsko out west. Tommy, that gal right there has got to be the best safety's rim in her combo in the league, and I'm not sure it's close when you put those two together. Yeah, I agree. Roach gets it, throws it to the right side, compete Gasler, and she's going to lose three or four yards on the play. Sage Steinman, who we talked about early, is right there again. We mention a lot of versatile players in this league. Yeah. Steinmetz will line up at the defensive end, run outside, and make a hit on you. 
and try to force the ball loose, bring you out a cup of coffee and a glass of water during the game, too. Tommy, I get back to Gorman and Rinda. Special safety. Yeah, absolutely. Special. And they try. I don't want to be the guy who has to vote. Both of them are starting at safety in the all fantasy team, so good luck with the MVP voting yeah, on defense. I agree. Roach. Oh, man. Off. Look at that shot. Roach rolls around to the right side, throws it down the field, and it's overthrown and incomplete. Looking for Gassler. What a shot here. Was that Steinmetz? Yeah, watch this. Hello. Don't try to block me. Who's your mama? Not your daddy. Oh, my goodness. That was punishment. Absolute punishment. Oh, yeah, by the way, they threw it in complete pass. Yeah. <laughs> Sage Steinmetz wants to say, you only put me on second team all yeah. fantasy? May I feel think, a little bit stuff. And look at her, too. Tommy. Look at 5'9", 155 pounds, a motor that runs and runs and runs. She's done it now. She's been involved in damn near every play we've yeah. had on both sides of the on ball. On both sides of the yeah. ball. That's a very good point. Listen to this crowd. We've got fourth and seven. These two teams will meet each other, folks, next week in Jacksonville for the uh, playoffs to go to the LFL Championship. They can run it or throw it. She's looking to throw. Got some pressure. Rolls out, steps up, throws, and it is tipped and picked off. Intercepted. Bryn Renda got it. A little tip drill in the defensive backfield, and Renda comes up with it. Folks, if you've ever heard of Ed Reed, I think you have of the Baltimore Ravens. Like when the Ed can play like four games and get eight interceptions. How many times? She's had a multiple interception game this year already, Tommy. And right here in Philly's drive, first drive, what does she do? Look at the great concentration by your first team safety. Great job. If you're going to throw down the field, you better find Liz Gorman, but you better find Bryn Rinda, too, at her 5'10". They hit you, they ball hawk, they catch it when it's in the air, and they'll knock the hell out of you on the defensive oh, side when you cross their face. Now, first and 10, football on the two-yard line. Give goes right up the middle. That's Tiffany Powers, and she's going to do exactly what you want. She gets about five yards and gets you out of that end zone area. Well, and, and Tiff is, and there's K.K. Matheny in the game at quarterback. Her and Crawford, you're going to see them kind of shuffle like we saw the last game, Tommy. Series, 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 as we can see now. And Matheny's that little fireball and better arm than Crawford. But Crawford brings leadership. We'll see if Matheny can do the same. Give again. This is Powers. Cuts back and going nowhere. Tiffany Powers is going right down, right at the line of scrimmage. Philly is so athletic, Sean, oh. that if you're trying to cut back, you're trying to make a, adjustments, they're going to be right there with and you. And they're disciplined, Tommy. You know, sometimes great defenses have a, have a tendency to say, I'll chase down everything. They'll get the people that are supposed to chase to chase, but they never lose discipline on cutback lanes and on if you want to do a double reverse. You know, we've seen teams like Chicago run double reverses right. six, seven times in a game out west, and they can fool them. This team doesn't get fooled very often. This is as good athletes as you'll see on a field on both teams on the planet. Motion to the far side. Matheny looks, throws. That's caught. Bryn Renda's got it. Nice cut back. Oh, what a finishing tackle. Renda probably got about four yards on that, and it's fourth and a yard, and they have to throw the ball. In this game and in all games, and especially this, is these two teams we saw L.A. Chicago last week, Tommy Battlett. They'll be playing each other in the Western Conference Final next week. And in here in the Eastern Conference, this team, they meet each other again, so you may not want to show too much stuff. But what you will see is there's pride involved, Tommy. These girls don't want to lose this game. They may not want to show too much as far as play calling, but they're going to line up and knock you around and get after it. And I love this. And on fourth down, field position and red zone are going to be huge in this football game. Matheny fakes it. Now they lost it. And either way, it's going to be Philly ball right there. Yep. No matter who recovered the fumble, they had to throw the football, but it was fourth down. So now it's going to be uh, it's going to be a turnover. Might have been KK if they had to. It was they had to throw on that one, right, Tommy? Yeah, Might to have throw. left the fake in there too long. And what happens, Tommy, if you don't pull it out in time? An elbow hits if the in, if the runner doesn't have the inside arm up for the fake. It hits and it happened there. Trying to get maybe a little too cute or too tight and down with the play action. And what happens? Bam. Come on back, balls on the ground. Would have been Phillies anyway because they didn't get to finish the play. But you take a look at the fired up Tampa defense now. And they've got enough defense to stop this. We'll see if Phillies any good in the Reds. They have been so far 17 of 23, third in the league. Mary Rose Roach makes them good. And she runs it in for a touchdown. Eight yards. And Roach, the leading scorer in the league. She leads in just about every offensive category. Runs it in for the TD. Leading scorer, leading touchdowns, leading rusher, second total offense. Special. 
She'll take it right off the direct snap as she's playing quarterback in this game for the injured Christy Bell. Great job. Now, that's what you don't see Tampa do much, Tommy. Ran right through it. Yeah. But you know what? While we may say we don't see Tampa do it much, they don't see Philadelphia very often right. in Mary Rose right. Roach. Right. Looks like we may have an equipment problem there. Handoff goes around the right side. McCrary trying to go, and she cannot. Great defense. That's just terrific effort by Tampa. Liz Gorman, among uh, others, right there. She, they, this Liz Gorman, who's 5'5", five, five, a buck 25. We'll talk about her throughout this game. Beast. This crowd has been terrific all evening here in the early going. And both irritated because the Buccaneers and the Eagles are out of the playoff. <laughs> so this is what they got. You know what? I've watched enough players in this during this regular NFL season that I'm not so sure that some of these receivers can't catch better than, oh. than in the LFL than yeah. the regular receiver. Denisha Crawford back in. Motion goes to the far side. Fades back. Looking. Steps up. Looking long. Heaves it out there. And it is almost caught. And falls incomplete. Looking for Bryn Renda. Gasler right there to knock that one away. It's uh, second down. I think the hardest position to judge this year as far as who's the best in both West and East. Wide now, receiver? No question. Yeah, I agree. Because okay, you go to Dallas with Candace Mosley, who their team struggled. And you go out West, and and, and the Bra you know, Brace can make the catch. Oh, and yeah, I mean, everywhere you go, Vandewalk, who got rewarded for it. But everywhere you go in both conferences, there's just way too many of them. Yeah, there are. Too many great receivers. Crawford fades back again. Little dump off. That's Dorsher. And she's got it. Goes around the right side. She's going to get about six or seven yards on that. Nice play. And it will be third down and about three now. Now Amanda's made a huge impact, Tommy. She's starting at tight end for the All-Fantasy yeah. in the East. Yep. And she's also the, the backup, the second teamer at defensive end on defense. So Amanda, and you know, kind of just skates by. Yeah. Not, all, not a whole lot not of pub, headlines. But yep. I'll tell you what, they, they put Consistent, her in there and right solid. place. So absolutely. Yeah. Motion goes to the far side. Crawford fades. Now a delay handoff. That's Tiffany Powers. Powers, nice cut back and a heck of a block. And she's going to get about 10 or 11 yards on that carry. And a late little shove. How about that right cross that came in late, Sean? A little, and then they're going to be teammates in the fantasy game. Lusby and Tiff Powers getting after it a little bit. But you know what, Tom? Do you expect anything less? No, this absolutely game? not. This I sure did. This is to see who's going to Jacksonville as the one seed. Folks, this is like you going out in the backyard or at schoolyard when you were growing up and fighting the bully, and then the bully saying, I'm going to get you again next week because they're playing again yeah, next week. Yeah. So it should be awful fun to see how this turns out. Motion again. Tampa and Yul Murphy love that. Handoff goes to Rolf coming around the right side, tries a cutback, and this is where Philly is so good defensively. They are so athletic, Sean. The cutbacks against them just don't work. They run, they scrape, they cover, they stay in their lanes, and if they do mess up and miss something, Tommy, they're athletic, as you said, and we've said this since the beginning of this season. Since their first game, yep. Could be, now we could, hey, you can look around, there's great athletes on all these teams. Right. But I'm talking about top to bottom. Player for player, when you go from 1 to 20, this is as athletic as always. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Fades, throws. There's Michaela Wingle who just came into the ball game, And Wingle makes a catch. Nice little pass and catch. Got about four yards on that play. Nice and again, kidding. very typical Yo Murphy. That's right. Well, we can roll through it now. We've seen how many different Crawford get her hands on the ball. We've seen Wingle get her hands on the ball. Sage Steinmetz, Tiff Powers, K.K. Matheny's had her hands on the ball. Tommy. Then this is Yo. Get everybody involved. You may not get one with ten catches, but you'll get a whole bunch of them with three. Yeah. And a whole bunch of touches to different people. And three catches in a game like this? Huge. It's big numbers. Exactly right. Motion goes to the far side. Crawford fades back. Now she's got a little room. Now she circles around in a little trouble, trying to make a little bit of something happen, and she can't do it. She goes down hard. Heather Roy, another outstanding player for Philly, there on the stop. A relentless. She's got the same motor on her side, Heather Roy, Tommy, and she's an all-fantasy second-teamer, Heather Roy. Right. Oh, absolutely. That Steinmetz has on the other side of the game. Yeah. You know, relentless and chase and get after it. Now, here's the thing that about Denisha Crawford. You remember the first time she scrambled out there, Tommy? Right. Hesitating. At this position, you can't hesitate. She should have taken off and ran right then. She tried to make something happen, and then she was a little, little late with the adjustment, and it ended up costing her. And she's fortunate that she's a good enough athlete to make plays, but Philadelphia is just as athletic as anybody else. Fourth and seven, they have to throw the football, Sean. Keep an eye on Rinda. 
She'll fade back. Steps up, throws. Little dump off pass. Goes to the right side. Tiffany Powers there. And Powers is going to get about five or six. They will be short. It'll be Philly ball again. But a great decision. A great decision on the part of Denisha Crawford. Tommy, there's no reason to force it. Put it in Tiff Powers' hands. She's made plays She's in the open playmaker. field. Yep. And you're what? Going to be a half yard short? Half yard short or whatever it is. You turn over. But you must capitalize in the red zone against Philadelphia. But a nice job of tackling in the open field and to give yourself a chance. Now, Tommy, we talk about <laughs> underrated people in the leagues. You know, we've got all fantasy and we talk as we wind down the season before the playoffs. And I was thinking in the East, even though Ida Bernstein made as an alternate for Baltimore, boy, what a great season oh, she had. She's a, she's a competitor. You and I said she could play for us any day. Oh, on my team. She's making a roster. McCrary with it, comes around the left side. What a tough tackle. She's going to get about five yards. Liz Gorman, when we say tough tackle, how often do I say Liz Gorman? Let's listen in. That's textbook, brother. Her instincts. She's 5'5 five, five and plays like she's six foot and runs like she's five five foot with the speed and quickness. Yeah. But, Tommy, her instincts to the football, I understand why she was a defensive MVP last year and why it's really hard to pick against you know, her. No question about it. Every, she did, hello, Troy Polamalu. Bam! <laughs> hello, Troy. Bam! I mean, every time you turn around, she's knocking the hell out of you. Yeah. But she's a finisher. She didn't just get there. A lot of players can get there, Tommy. Many can't finish. Gorman's a finisher. And she's a very bright player, too. Really anticipates and, reads very well. And loves this crap, doesn't oh, she? Yeah, absolutely. Loves it. I don't want any part of it. Roach trips to the left side. Now they get motion to the right side. Play clock winding down. High snap. Roach steps up, under pressure, didn't want to go over that line. Now she heaves it long, Ooh. and it's just overthrown, looking for Tyra Lusby. What an arm. Sean, she was going on her back foot and kind of sidearmed that a little bit and still had plenty on it. Yeah, when all the MVP votes are in, Rose and Salerno out west are going to be it. But right you, how you, how right you take, I agree with you, Tommy. She had my. She gets my vote now, too, because she's so, so First of no so question. Salerno will get her moment because Salerno's pretty special out oh, west absolutely. as a quarterback. But when you look at Rose... Mary Rose Roach, Tommy, and the thing she can do. Folks, remember, she's not a quarterback. She's the best running back in the league. And, oh, by the way, they put her quarterback because Christy Bell's hurt. Yeah. The little delay now brings it up the right side. Goes down hard, but a great run by Roach. Purnell with the tackle. Got about seven yards on that play, and it will be yet another first down. And we'll take a timeout and come right back. The number one offensive team in the LFL, the Philadelphia Passion, averaged 38 points a game. They've got only six so far. This is the number three defensive team in the league in Tampa. Tampa allows only 16 points a game. Philly driving right now, has it first down. Handoff goes to Tyra Lusby on a reverse. Lusby goes around the left side, nice job. Liz Gorman there on another Man. great stick. Oh, she fun to watch. Man. Here we go. Tommy, oh, this is, off the helmet. I wonder yeah. what it was. I didn't see it the first time. This isn't just a game about egos. An incomplete pass. I intended, what's that, for Lusby out there from Mary Rose yeah. Roach? Yeah. Tommy, this is, no, that was for Jaleesa McCrary. Tommy, this just isn't about egos. We play these teams next week. What do we show? It's about defensive MVPs on the line. We look out west, Deborah Poles. Audrey right. La I mean, oh, yeah. Poles is a candidate for it. It had a... Tommy's special Bowles football terrific. player. Bowles is terrific. Now you look, there's Ashley Lowe. She's a starting corner. She's been great. What a great secondary this Tampa team has. Gorman and Rinda. Gorman's a reigning MVP. And then offense, Roach is trying to match Salerno for the MVP yeah. overall in the league. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a lot of sidebars in the game. Oh, great spin move by Roach. Look at her move up the field. A Walter Payton-like move. Roach. Oh, that's just terrific. Don't. Seven yards on the play. Now you don't want this girl hurt. She's limping a little bit as Mary Rose Roach. If you're, if you're Philly, you're saying, oh, no, please. Yeah, anything. We got, anything. We got things to do. And when you've got three first-team secondary players on one team, Lowe, Rinda, and Gorman, Tommy, you probably aren't going to have a lot of success in the open field running the football or throwing it. Yeah, deep down the field. Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you, and, and out west we were talking about snubs or people, underrated people. Yeah. What about Melissa Margolis, Tommy, out in L.A.? Oh, good call, Every yeah. single game she's made an impact, got no love on the offensive handoff. Second back through. Comes around the right side. That's Gassler. Gassler, nice cutback. Gets inside the 10. She's down about the 9-yard line before she's finally stopped. 
Now, Tommy, how do you make, you, you watch this, and a great job by Gaster, who also does a great job in the secondary. How do you, running backs are one thing, but you got to have an offensive line that moves people, am I right? Yeah, oh, absolutely, and here we go. We'll get to that in a second. Looking to throw the football, now throws it, and that was a wounded duck and incomplete. So go ahead with well, your point. I, you look at all great teams. If you don't have somebody, great players, if you don't have somebody that can move the pile. Oh, you look the and line. Dominant, look at the NFL playoffs. The team that controls the line of scrimmage wins. Always. And we're yep. talking about... We're talking about snubs and things that go on and who who didn't make it, who did make it. You know, when you look at Philadelphia's offensive line, Mary Rose Roach, top of all these statistics. Where's Donna Ferry in the offense? Yeah, good point. That's a and really she, good and point. She, and she does a great job rushing the pass on the other side. Where's she on this all-fantasy? She controls the line of scrimmage on offense. Wins that battle about every play. Now steps up, Rose. Little pump fake. Look at her just play with the defense. Rose takes it in. Touchdown. So a little get, pushing and shoving. Liz Gorman right there talking to her. Let me just translate. Liz is saying, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm the defensive MVP of the league. And Rojo said, well, not so fast, my friend. <laughs> I'm the MVP of this league. But great job, pump fake. This is what Roach does. Great across the grain. Puts the ball in the proper hand and then runs through about three or four tackles to get in the end zone. And Liz Gorman doesn't like it. She's playing through the whistle until the next whistle four minutes from now. Hand off on the extra point, trying to get around the right side. And I don't know, did she get in? No, the official says she came up short. And it is incomplete. McCrary tried to get in and didn't get there. I wonder, Tommy, I think either the hip or the knee down, she thought it was before she stretched it right. over the line. Right. Great effort by Jaleesa McCrary. Nice job. Great job by Philly in holding and getting, the, getting things going on. And once again, what a Philadelphia recognizes that, hey, and this is a message sent to Tampa. Tampa's not playing back. Oh, they're playing to win. Christy Bell, who's your all-fantasy second-team quarterback, is not playing because she's hurt. And you're Philadelphia. You're leading 12 to nothing. You're sending a message saying, we're doing this to you, Tampa. As good a defense as you claim, as, as, as we've seen you as have. we've seen. We're yep. pushing you around and bullying you. So Tampa's going to win enough enough, or they're just going to say, we'll see you next week. Yeah. We'll see. Matheny back in at quarterback. Handoff goes to the right side. Fumble. Loose football. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're whoa, whistling. Nothing. Incomplete pass? Did it well now, Tommy? If, if there was a different angle, we could see did did Matheny shovel it to her and it no, deliver? I, that, to me, it looked that was like a hand, hand to hand. I agree. Now, see that that's what they're discussing right now because if it left her hand and was there was air between the ball and in the air, hand, yep. then, then you get. Let's listen in. We're going to replay the down as there was an inadvertent whistle. Oh, okay, so they stopped the whistle, and that's maybe why the running, maybe why Sage stopped running. Because if the ball leaves your hand, and that's a shovel pass and an incompletion, but it looked like a fumble. Absolutely, it looked like a fumble. It's a way to cover yourself if you don't yeah, have a exactly. call. exactly. Matheny in trouble, gets away from one. Now heaves it very high, lofted pass, and it goes incomplete. Liz Gorman took a little shot there trying to come up with that ball. Now, Tommy, do you, is this the, we've seen Tampa a lot, both these teams undefeated coming into this game. Um, and we know about the All-Stars. We've mentioned it, the candidates and the MVPs and people that are making a, a play for certain awards as well as knock the team around and, and send a message for next week's playoff team. Is ta this is not the same Tampa offense we're used to seeing. Tiffany Powers made a few plays. Right. What I'm saying is that the execution is not there, and that may have something to do with Philadelphia's athleticism. Yeah, it could be. Motion comes to the near side. Fades back. Got all kinds of time. Nice job by our offensive line. Now has to roll out. Steps up, throws, and it is caught. Darsher's got it. Look at her make the move, and she's out to... Oh, 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 there we go. Look at this. We got it going on now. Oh, my. Sage Steinmetz sending a message down the field. This could be an ejection, partner. Dead ball. Personal foul. Number 11, red. Player is ejected. Ooh. Who was she, who was she knocking around there? Was that... Uh... Was she in a little battle with, it looked like Gassler. I couldn't that's, see the number. I, I, I couldn't see the number either, but that's a huge oh, loss man. for Tampa. And that could be two weeks for, or next week in the playoffs. Matheny fades back, steps up, looking down the field, throws in, it is caught, touchdown! Big time touchdown, Bryn Renda, 27 yards on the TD. Touchdown, Tampa, and they needed it, brother. Oh, what a shocker. Bryn Renda is on the receiving end or interception end of a ball. Great job. That's deep post thrown exactly where you got to throw it. KK Matheny. Making it, I guess that's where the controversy starts. You want the ball pushed down the field. Matheny, Denisha Crawford, 
And Matheny, that's Doug Flutie to Darren Flutie right there, isn't it? Yeah, Playing at Boston yeah. Look at this. Great job with her eyes. Tom Herman can't look at She's got the ball loaded up on her back shoulder. Not a lot of hesitation. Waits till the route clears. And a great finish by Rinda to the post. And Philadelphia letting the players get behind them. A great answer by Tampa after maybe your best all-around player, Sage Steinmetz, is ejected from the football game. Uh, again, that's you. That, that is just no the doubt. second half. That will tell it all. Untimed play here. The last play of the half. Nowhere. Look at this Philly defense. They just <laughs> attack Liz Gorman. And there may have been a little message there as well. We're at halftime. 12-6, Philly with the lead here in Tampa. We'll take a break. Halftime festivities coming up on LFL Friday Night Football. L-L-L, this is Friday Night Football. Right now, we're not giving it 110. This is the best team in the East, and they came to play football. So we need to prove who we are. You guys getting the hell beat out of here. You know, you can't say we're better than that. You're only as good as your last play. It's embarrassing. Ridiculous. You guys work too hard to go out like this. This is the last fight of your life. If you don't make it, we all die. <laughs> you think Tampa takes it serious? Oh my goodness. Now look at this inside handoff to Steinmetz, who was ejected in the first half, but Philly's defense swarming all over the place. And then you set up this. Mary Rose Roach playing quarterback for the injured Christy Bell gets it into the end zone. I think she's the MVP of the league in a close race to Salerno. And then the handoff, and again, just pounding and the hitting. And look at Liz Gorman making her case for the defensive MVP. And then again, you put the ball in the best player's hands, Mary Rose Roach. Scrambles out of the pocket, gets in the end zone. Liz Gorman takes offense to it. And then right after Steinmetz gets ejected with, for fighting, what do you do? K.K. Matheny off the bench at quarterback to Bryn Rinda for the big play for a momentum switcher as we start to head back towards the second half. There you see the total yards favors Tampa, but you can't go 0 for 3 on fourth down conversions. We got one hell of a second half coming up on LFL Friday Night Football. L, 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 this is Friday Night Football. Second half ready to get rolling here. 12-6 our score. And Liz Gorman will kick off. She does what about does everything. What does she do? <laughs> Very high, short kick. Taking about the five-yard line. Gassler gets out across the 10, out to about the 11 or 12. And that's where Philly will put it into play first and 10. Remember how the first half ended, Tommy? The big play to Brent Rinder from KK right. Matheny. And a little momentum switcher. Now they kick off and don't let uh, Danielle Gassler get running. Anxious to see now with Christy Bell back for the playoffs. How they'll change. And yeah. how and how Mary Rose Roach gets to go back to her comfort position. Could make uh, Philadelphia even more explosive. But we still got a long way to go in this in a 12-6 game. Could you and, and, and no doubt that we're going to get this fist fight in the second half. Oh, yeah. I'll bring this up in a minute. I'll bring up uh, what, what Philly could do. Roach back at center. Hands off. Lusby comes around the left side. Look at that upfield blocking. Now cuts back again. Here comes Lusby. She's out near the 20-yard line. Zuckelman with the stop. Gain of about eight on the play. Nice job by Elise making a run on it and getting in on uh, getting in on the play. Got to call Elise's name out. Tommy, I'm enjoying this. See, I'm one of these guys that likes the trenches. I'm enjoying this Adrian Purnell in the nose tackle, the inside, right, right. against Donna Ferry. I'm kind of enjoying this. Both of them, neither one of them on an all-fantasy team, but Purnell's involved in all these plays. Donna Ferry's involved also. Heather Roy's up front. This is a nice physical bat matchup up front. Roach fades back. Steps up, throws, had a wide open receiver. That's Gassler. Gassler just continues to roll inside the 15. That's a gain of about 15 or 16 yards. Liz Gorman there on the stop yet again, and that's a first down. Just so they all get the love. Chris, uh, Christy Bell, Mary Rose Roach, Lusby, Heather Roy, Jaleesa McCrary, and Daniel Gassler, all fantasy, all six of them for Philly. And then you got Tiff Powers, Amanda Dosher, Sage Steinmetz, who's been kicked out of this game, Ashley Lowe, and then Bryn Renda and Liz Gorman, the starting safeties for the Eastern Conference in the All-Fantasy League and All-Fantasy team. It's hard to beat. Three sure starting is. defensive backfield out of four. All-Fantasy. First and ten. Handoff goes around the left side. Lusby. And this play has really worked well for Philly. Lusby gets inside the ten down to about the seven-yard line. And it'll be second down and three. Now, is there a second number 11 on uh, on Tampa. On Tampa? I don't yeah, think say, so. Uh, okay, man, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, my eyes are deceiving me. I, maybe it was number one that I saw, Liz Gorman, but I thought I saw another uh, uh, another uh, 11. 11, and I'm thinking, didn't Sage get kicked out? Yeah, she did. 
Yep. Maybe I'm losing. You know what, Tommy? Would it shock you if I said I'm losing my mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know lost the feeling. It. I, I lost it. know. She was kicked out for fighting in the first yeah. half, so I'm only yeah. kidding. But... Great and job! Great job with the kids. That'll be yep. That'll be offsides against Amanda Dosher on the defensive against side. Against Dosher, yep. Nice job with the cadence by your non-quarterback, Gary Rose. Here was Good my job. point. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, here's the call. Dead ball. Encroachment. Defense. Half the distance to the goal. Replay. Second down. How about now having a, a play where Bell can throw it to Roach and Roach can throw it back to Bell? Uh, you're just putting stuff in the mind of the Philadelphia team, which I'm sure they've thought about, oh, too. I don't think that's a goal, but Tommy, that's yeah. a great point. You can, you can do a lot of things when you get two players left. Trips to the right side. Roach is going to go that way. Tries to come around the outside. Gets away from one tackle. Now cuts back inside the foot. Oh. What a tackle. What? Bryn Renda with a shot to Roach. Why, oh. do we, why don't we just put Renda we'll just put Renda and her teammate Liz Gorman and say, you guys fight it out. You, you guys, you, you're on the same team, but let's just say you guys staking a claim for you want to be the best safety, not only hitting-wise, but catching-wise in the league. Go go ahead. I don't think Bryn Renda wants to surrender the defensive MVP to, to Liz Gorman right, just yet, does she? There's Liz leading it. She talking loves to, to talk. Talking to the defensive line, saying this is all up to you, defensive front. Got to think this is going to be Roach on a keeper here. Here she comes around the left side. Oh, look at the shot she delivers. And touchdown, Philly and Mary Rose. Roach gets in again. Yep, Tanya O'Sullivan driving on the football also. A few push-ups. There you go. Mary Rose Roach trying to put an exclamation point to this doggone thing. Nice fake. Get out on the edge. Now drive on the football, Sullivan did, but look at that. You can't tackle high, and that's what happens. You've got to get down low with Mary Rose Roach and Liz Gorman also around hey, scraping. Here's this Liz isn't who we more. are. Hey, this isn't who we are. Let's go. And she's right. Getting pushed around yeah. defensively is not who they are. Hand off goes to McCrary. Oh, my. That may be a little bit more of what Liz Gorman's talking about, of who they are. That's a nice stop. 18-6 to six now. Philly with the lead and Tampa get it back and Tampa needs an answer. They now. sure do and, and what, hey Adrian Purnell again on the in the penetration Tommy yeah. she's been lining up over the center this whole game and we not a lot of talk about her because of all the superstars on Tampa but as Liz told her defensive line you got to control the line of scrimmage basically that's what you see those girls are doing up front. You got to win that battle. Nice job by Purnell up front getting a little bit of push now Tampa needs to respond to Kanisha Crawford. At court. Here comes in motion. And now naked backfield. Crawford fades, throws right side. Almost intercepted. Tyra must be almost had that and took it to the house. It's incomplete. That would have been scary. You see Chantel Letts out there, who's, who's a, a wonderful player for them also. But Denisha Crawford trying to throw in that little that little smoke screen, hit screen out there. And you saw, was that Lusby driving on the football, yeah, Tommy? Lusby yeah, almost got that one. Yeah. And that was one that looked like it was going to Lusby, intended for her. Second and 10 now. Crawford fades back, looking, steps up, little toss, and it's complete, but a loss of a couple. That's Tiffany Powers, and Powers had nowhere to go. Heather Perez right there on the stop. There you go, Heather driving on a football. Last year, all fantasy Tommy, cornerback, has moved around, played a little D-line. We see her on the offensive side of the ball at times, but going over there driving on the football. And this, this young lady has a lot of pride as I've talked oh, to her. Yeah. She loves this because this is a team that she knows can win this whole thing. And she's just part of the puzzle, which is nice. Third down and about 12. Lots of motion now. She'll fade back. Quick screen pass goes to the right side. Philly fighting, trying to get another first down. That's Julie Rolfe who's going to come up with about eight yards on that one and make it fourth now. Nice job by Colleen Burns and Angela Perfetto making a play. Running. Didn't quit running. Perfetto grabs onto the jersey and is able to hold on until her friends come in and make a play. This is Friday Night Football. Fourth down now, and this is a big fourth down. We're early in the second half, 12 minutes left, but they're down two scores here. Handoff, that's Dozier. Look at her go right up the middle. She's going to get about four or five yards, and that's going to be just enough for a first down. She just made it. First down. Dozier getting a run. Chantel Letts leading her up into that hole also. Tommy, when we, when we 
forge ahead to next week in Jacksonville. I am not so sure that it's not. We talk about all the athletes. I'm not so sure it's not going to be one at the line of scrimmage. I'm serious. They almost always are, aren't they? Question. Yep. Quarterback keeper. Now she throws, and it's incomplete. And there's an 11. You're right. That's number 11. Yeah, something. There must be two 11s on there. If, if there is, I, I, I don't know. But I, okay, maybe I wasn't crazy. Well, I'm still crazy. Well, no, my yeah, eyes, I wouldn't go that far. Exactly. Yeah. But, Tommy, I thought I saw an 11 out there. Now, I don't know who this 11 is. Now, if there's dual 11s, we don't have a roster that has another 11 on here, yeah, do Yeah, exactly. So, Sage Steinmetz, who was kicked out in the first half, I don't think they let her back in, did they? No, you wouldn't think so. Motion. Now Crawford's going to keep it, and she's in trouble. Now she's fumbled the football. Look out, it's loose, and Philly got it. There's Perfetto on the play, Tommy. Angela driving on the football. Picks up the loose ball on the ground, and she's made two out of the last three plays. Running from the other side of the field to go get it. Watch this performance here. Don't mention her name. If you see Denisha Crawford a little confused, look at the chase. The chase, the chase, nice job. Colleen Burns. Perfetto, and then after the fumble, great job. Instead of trying to pick it up, falling on the football so your team recovers. And once again, you see all the excitement by Heather Roy over there. Philadelphia fired up and in control of this game, 18 to six. And now with Roy and with Donna Ferry and with Laura, Lauren LaBella up front, they're gonna to try to continue to dominate this line of scrimmage. They've got it in great field position right now. Hand off, that's McCreary, comes along the left side. And the football came loose. Look at them dive for it underneath. I don't know who got this. Tampa came up with it. What a huge turnover. I think Purnell came up with that at the bottom of the pile. Tommy, we've done these teams four times this year. We talk about people who look at Purnell standing up, doing a great job line scrimmage, coming off the block and getting on it, forcing the fumble, and then... Having her friends, number eight, who was that, 18 now? Purnell on the recovery also. Yep. What an effort by Adrian Purnell to fight off the block and then to roll and keep rolling and bam, come up with a fumble. That, Tommy, you, there's a few things you can't teach in sports, and effort's one of them. Right. Play till the whistle, and it's sometimes beyond. Great job. First down, Tampa with the football. Motion goes to the far side. Handoff goes along the right side. That's Tiffany Powers, and she's going to fight forward for about five or six yards. She paid for it. They were hard-earned yards, but she got them. Nice job out there. Michaela Wingle getting in on it, trying to help her friend out, make some blocks. Tiffany Powers just quietly going about her business. Tampa's trying to stay into this game offensively. Give them a chance. See if they go right back to Powers here. And they do. Powers comes along the left side. Great upfield blocking. And she's going to get another five or six yards. That's enough for a first down. Tommy, I, I may be losing my mind. Great job by Tiff Powers. Somehow Sage, Sage Steinmetz is back in this football game. That Sage out there? Well, it's, I, it, it's number yeah, 11. Know, yeah, and it looks like her. Exactly. Handoff. Powers again. Nice cutback. She just keeps fighting forward. That's about four or five yards on the carry. Another thing that happens with big runs, Tommy, once you're into the secondary, we've seen it happen, whether it's prior out west, these girls who've made big runs this year, and it's also happened with Roach, and you see runs like that. Matheny giving the ball to Tiffany Powers as you get Bren Renda. Great receivers block downfield. Almost lost the football, and there's nowhere to go there. And now a very late flag. After the play was over, it came in. Watch this, uh, watch this hit. Oh, my goodness. Neutral zone infraction on the defense. Five-yard penalty. Replay second down. Nope. Replay second nope. down. I think that's a first down. You know, I'll tell you what happened on that, Tommy. Matheny, the ball kind of slipped out of her hand a little bit on the hand, and you saw Tiffany Powers try to grab it. Now Liz Gorman in the backfield. And I assure you, she won't miss a block. No, I agree. Play. First and 10, just like I thought. Fake to Gorman. Now Matheny with a little pitch pass. That goes forward to Steinmetz. Who's that to? I think it is. And she's into the end zone. Touchdown. I'm, I'm a bit lost. Join the club. I'm a bit lost on this. So there isn't two 11s. And Sage Steinmetz, who maybe is, I mean, you talk about all-around players, Tommy. She's on offense and defense, making all fantasy teams, was kicked out of the game in the first half. Now, did the officials apologize to Sage for opening up a can of whoop-ass on some girl <laughs> and then coming back in or reward her for that? But Sage says, you know what, I'm going to stay in the game. Philadelphia driving, Danielle Gasser driving, trying to make a hit. But guess what? Steinmetz gets in the end zone. And what do you do? You give her the football, and she finds a way to reward her football team and keep Tampa in it. I don't know, Tommy. I don't either. Now, Tampa has gone to Liz Gorman all season long for this play. 
They're going left. Here's the pitch. Gorman's got it, and I think Philly's figured it out, too. Well, not only that, but there's, you're having some confusion. The center snap, you saw K.K. Matheny coming off the field, using the hand like the snap below the center, so that was the old, I confess, it's my center's fault. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure out what's going on, but something's happening with the snap and what's going on there. And as you see, Tampa comes up short, wanted to get the ball, as you said, to Liz Gorman. Mary Rose Roach, the running back, all fantasy running back. Pitches it left side. Tyra Lusby maybe got a yard. Purnell there. That's a name we've been saying a lot today. Purnell on the stop. And we've seen, we've talked Renda. We've talked uh, Gorman on defense driving on the football from the safety position. But as I said, how important it is to be able to dominate the line of scrimmage. And with Wingle up front doing a good job. But that girl right there, number 18. Not her. The one before. Lining up over the center. Adrian Purnell has been spectacular in this football game. Second nine after that play. Play clock is running. 18 to 12. What a heck of a game we've got. These two teams play again in Jacksonville. We'll have it right here for you live. What a terrific matchup that ought to be. Fading back. Looking. Steps up under some pressure. This is where she's so dangerous. Look out. Makes a cut. Gets away from a couple defenders. She's got a first down and more. And what a shot by Liz Gorman. Nice job by Liz Gorman. Let's listen in. This is as good a wired up as we've had all year. It's Gorman punishing people and letting you know about it in the open field. Tommy, that could have been a loss. Amanda Dosher ran right through to the quarterback. But the strength and the lower body power, yeah, the lower body power of Mary Rose Roach has been dominant. Do you think Adrian Purnell's into this, Tommy? Have Big a look time. at her. Her I and Donna, Philly's her and Donna Ferry are battling. Get a timeout. Philly's confused. They needed a timeout. We'll take it. Take a pitch to the right side, under pressure. Here she goes, running again. Look out, cuts back, gets away from one. Oh, is she tough to bring down? Mary Rose Roach probably got about six yards on there. Wingle and Rinda on the stop. So elusive, Tommy. And you look at look at the legs and the power in the lower body. I mean, the butt and legs are so strong that yeah. she can run through yeah. tackles. But see, it's very rare that you find somebody that's strong enough to run through them and fast enough to run around them and quick enough to make you grab air. Right. And that's what she does. She's got the triple combo. Second down and four. Pitch to the left side, and the pass is incomplete. Looking for Heather Perez. Perez just couldn't hang on. A little low throw. Third down. And Heather will come up with that most of the time. No, Tommy, is that Heather? It looked like Tiffany uh, Mucciolo. Oh, I think it could have been. I think it was Tiffany trying to make that play, and uh, couldn't come up with it. I like that last name. With Mucciolo. Third down and four. Just under seven minutes left. Love this offensive line for Philly time. Love it. She fade back. Looks. Looks. Now she's going to run it again, and she maybe got a yard or two. And Steinman's right there on the stop. Uh, Sage, who was kicked out of the game in the first half, yeah, is right. coming out of the. <laughs> Somehow <laughs> she's back in. Back, I'll tell you what. Maybe she threw some haymakers on the official said, Your butt has <laughs> put me back in. This game's too important. And Sage, Tom, she's all over the field. Oh, but she's regardless of why player, she's yep. back in the game, she's back. She's knock, she is knocking people around and making plays offensively. It's nice. And uh, my, the, the secret uh, dominator in this game has been that young lady right there. We'll keep talking about it because I don't think the linemen, you know, the, the linemen never get enough love. Right, and right. Purnell's controlling things inside. Fourth down, they've got to throw the football. Roach fading, steps up, looks into the end zone, throws, caught, touchdown. Pretty pass to Gassler, 18-yard TD, and Philly puts six more on the board. Now, you can't let somebody get behind you. I don't know, was that Bren Renda in coverage? Yeah, which, Renda which missed her. We, yep. we rarely are saying anything wrong about Bren Renda because she covers and makes plays. But look at the quarterback, has all the time. Have a look at Mary Rose Roach. Sit back, sit back. Great job by the girls up front. Nice job by, by Ferry. Protecting and protecting. Double team in the one pass rusher. You can't let it get behind you. It reminds me of Pittsburgh's throw by Roethlisberger at 24-24. Right. Over and beyond right. in the to, to, to make the big play on third and 19, Tommy. 
Lots of controversy there. They can't figure out where they're going. Extra points have been hard to come by. 24-12 with 531 left. Unbelievable. We'll take a timeout. Sean, before this play, we got to send a little love out to one of the yeah, players. Yeah, our Orlando running back, Lindsey Alfano. Tommy, tough, great example. Yep. Going through our prayers and thoughts are with you. Absolutely. Going through some health issues and pray that everything turns out. You're as tough as there is in this league, young lady, and we pray for you. Look forward to seeing you on the field next year. Crawford fades back, looking, steps up, looking long, steps up, throws, and it's picked off. Gassler's got it. Gassler makes a comeback. She's across midfield, gets hit hard by Steinman. And finally taken down, a terrific interception by Gassler and a run, and Philly is now in control. Now that's the, that's the part what's going to, when you're Yo Murphy, make a decision for next week, Tommy. Matheny's made some big plays thrown. Here's what you can't do. I told you about Roethlisberger on the third and 19 against Baltimore making yeah. a big play. You yep. can't let somebody get behind you. We saw Bryn Renda make, what, her first mistake of the year. And then this. You can't throw the ball late down the middle of the field. And, and if well you're going to do it, you can't throw it 12 yards short. You got to give your person a chance to catch it. Danielle Gassler just playing center field, waiting for a mistake, and Tampa made that mistake, and then Danielle finishing. Oh, a little message sent to Sage Steinmetz, huh? Yeah. Saying, "Hey, I could dish it out too. Great job, but Denisha Crawford's got to protect the football better. Great leader, but you can't make those throws in big games like this, Tom. You just can't. Check it down or throw it out of bounds. First and ten now. Philly in great shape. A little delay handoff. That's Lusby. Great cutback by Lusby. Comes along the left side. Nice play. And now Lusby very slow to get up. Uh, it's an equipment problem. Wardrobe. Ain't nothing wrong with those. Don't hate them, do you, Tommy? <laughs> no. Ain't like they're wearing suits of armor out there, right? Man. You know, I, I, I continually talk to people and say, you know what? You get to the point where it's called the lingerie football league in their uniforms. And so, you know, right. the, exactly. not a whole lot of pads. But you know what, Tommy? After about three minutes of it, you're watching, you don't care. It's you football. Don't, you don't even recognize what they're wearing. And I'm being serious. You're yeah, talking, it's I'm great doing. football. And the brand of football, they just happen to be in shorts knocking people around. Handoff goes to the right side. And I couldn't see the number on that one, Sean. Not sure who it was either, Tommy. We'll see when we get Mushola. up. Sholo. Oh, okay. There you go. Mosholo again with the play. Getting her involved here late in this football game. 4.15 to go. And Tampa down by a dozen. Liz Gorman trying to get this defense to force another turnover. Yeah, two scores. That's yeah, the big key right that guy, now. Yeah, two scores. And the clock running down. If you're smart, you just keep milking this and milking this. Take care of your business. But they do, Tommy. You lose sight of the fact that with the pads, you just watch and say, this is just yeah. great football yep. by these girls. They hit. And in many sense, a lot tougher than the guys. Mosholo again comes around the left side. Makes a nice cutback. She's down about the five-yard line. Liz Gorman, Ashley Lowe there on the stop. And it'll be second and goal. I want right some there. large. I want a large pizza with some ravioli and some musciola on the side, <laughs> right? <laughs> Great job getting it. You know what? This is a smart move. Getting somebody else involved, Tommy. Absolutely. You don't. You don't need to beat bodies up. You're trying to. We call this the four-minute drill in the NFL, which means you got the lead. You're milking the clock. You're in no hurry to get out of the huddle. You don't want to give the team another chance. And if it ends up with a score, then great. But it's this is one of those just keep getting methodically, get in and out of the huddle. No rush. Mary Rose Roach doing a good job and letting Donna Ferry control it in that, that offensive line up front with LaBella and Heather Rowe. Mitchell again comes along the left side. She just fights forward for a yard or two. Dorsher right there on the stop. And it will now be third and goal. Let's place it at about the four-yard line. Dorsher, Zuckelman in on the stop. A lot of different names being called. You hear about all the fantasy players. And we continue to look at how they're pounding the line of scrimmage, trying to get things done up front. See a little uh, double dap there given to Musciola, who's coming off the bench and really making some plays. And this is just a methodical, Tommy. Methodical. And, you know, we don't see enough teams do great clock management and time management right, in this league. Right. Great job by Philadelphia staff right here. Without their starting quarterback, right. mind you. Third and goal at the four-yard line. Roach fades back, got to throw it. Does find Tyra Lusby in the end zone. Touchdown. Very nice play. Very nice read by Mary Rose Roach. Yeah, was that, uh, what, Tanya Sullivan back there? And was that Bryn Renda also, Tommy? I yep, can't I think tell. so. That but may have been the second time for Renda. And here's why. I want you to watch now. When you got the threat, the threat of Roach, you got to drive on it. She fools you. And a nice job. And there you see right there, 
That was uh, Tanya O'Sullivan on the coverage. Not uh, We don't want to give Bren Ring yeah, the wrong credit. Exactly, that was Tanya yeah. O'Sullivan. But you know what? In Tanya's defense, you see Roach coming at you. What do you got to do, Tommy? You're you got to drive on her. Yep. You got to drive on her. And then Roach pulls up and throws a nice little touchdown pass and a 30-12 to lead going for the clincher here with the single point. And we're at the two-minute warning. 30-12, to Philadelphia with the lead. Going for the extra point when we come back here on LFL Friday Night Football. Coming up Saturday, January 29th, we're live from Jacksonville, Florida. Doubleheader playoff action, L.A. and Chicago, followed by Philly and Tampa. What a terrific night of LFL. Friday night football on a Saturday night. All right, going for the uh, extra point here, 30 to 12. Roach rolls out to the left side, a little pitch to the left side. That goes to Tyra Lusby, and Lusby gets into the end zone. Extra point finally is good, Sean. So many weapons. So many weapons. Little John there between Zuckelman and a little bit of Philadelphia play. You, Philadelphia. Think, that, you think the playoff games will be fun? Oh, if you, if Chicago, L.A. was a war. They don't like each other. a defensive war. Don't like each other. And this team, well, you see the talking and the fights that are going on and Liz Gorman making sure Playing two same oh, team twice in a row. Fellas and ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be nasty. Here's the give. This is Gorman. Comes around the left side. Gorman gets across the 20. Gets about a five or six yard gain on that play. And it'll be second down. Liz Gorman doesn't stop. Oh. She's got Energizer Bunny written all over her. Plus 10. Incredible the energy that lady plays. Matheny steps up. Tough throw. A little overthrown. Looking for Tiffany Powers. And it's incomplete. That throw just sailed a little bit. It went right over her head. Yeah, and you know what? Tampa's got some decisions to make for the playoffs, Tommy. I think so. The decisions yeah. to make at quarterback, decisions to make on how you're going to approach it. And we know Yo Murphy knows how to attack. Oh, yeah. But Philadelphia is so well coached and so disciplined and, and so, so athletic. athletic. Frightening, oh. yes. In stereo, were available. They are terrific. So we'll see how they adjust now. And now they'll get to see each other on film and apply their, you know, their concepts next time. Gorman came in motion. Here she comes around the left side. Gorman with a big opening. And she's, oh, look at the shoulder. She's still going. Finally driven out of bounds. That's a gain of about 15 for Liz Gorman. 5'5". Five, five. If she's 125 pounds, Soaking then I, got a, then I got a red suit and a white beard down to <laughs> my ankles, okay? As I like to say, there, there is no way. That girl's about a buck. There you see. Who's that? Is that the Danielle Gasler on the sideline with the shoulder? Doesn't look too serious. Looks like she'll be okay. But I'm telling you, this young lady, Liz Gorman, she'll Plays play. She'll play in the parking lot if she has to. Plays it the way it ought to be played. Tough play there as Gorman Lashley got her. Gorman got about three yards on that play. Clock winding down and Tampa playing realizes smart. the they, game's yeah, over. Yeah, get but, a little work. But they're in. still playing hard. Yeah. One thing you don't want to do is get Liz Gorman hurt carrying the football here late in the game. Matheny fades back. No pressure at all. Steps up, throws, and it's overthrown, looking for Zuckelman. And if Matheny had come in and hit receivers in the hands, I think there'd be a real question of who would start in the playoffs. I don't know. There you hey, go. game MVP, Gasler. Way to go, Danielle. Interception, four tackles, a touchdown, three receptions. Oh, by the way, just yeah. another weapon for yeah. Philadelphia. And you're right about Matheny, Tommy. She's going to drop back here, I'm sure, again. I love her arm, though, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Pass is... is that caught? It, it was over the initial receiver. I think it was it Looks like an interception. That's a pick. Was a pick. All right, but Defense we got a flag. Defense up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty. Be replay third down. Was that Heather Perez on the pick, but not, not, not going to be uh, not going to count because the neutral zone infraction. So it keeps Tampa alive, and KK Matheny trying to end on a good note here for Tampa. Matheny fades back again, throws, and it's caught inside the five, down to about the two-yard line, fumble the football, and it is going to be Philly ball. Fumble by Dorsher, recovered by Philly, and it is Philly, and they will run the clock out. Tommy, you know what, you know, just sending another message. Tampa trying to go down there and score. Philly's setting you know that even though we're up 31-12, we're not quitting. And I admire Tampa for trying to make a play, and Dorsher took the big hit, Amanda did. And Philly is on it. Now you just kneel down and go home. Just don't kneel down too far back for yeah, safety. Yeah, you can't, can't go in the end zone. 
and it's just what they do. Smart play. And both these coaches have a tremendous amount of respect for each other. Oh, and, and for the teams and the no league question and the about whole it. bit. Yep. They, they may talk class. for fun, but these this, are class yeah. guys. Yeah, they rate both coaches and talking to them about the other. They recognize oh, the yeah. other's strengths. Yep. And now the key is try to find the other's weakness in the playoff game next <laughs> well, week. Well, these guys were all fantasy coaches in yep. Mexico last yeah, year and got to be great friends. And, and and rightfully so. Now they get to match wits next week in the Jacksonvilles. we got the doubleheader Los Angeles and Chicago from the West. This Tampa and Philly game. And you're going to have four teams oh, getting after man. This will be the last play. Talk about survival of the fittest. Oh, man. I'm glad I've been a coat and tie. You <laughs> joined it. I'm right there with you, brother. Oh, what a great game. Philly, terrific athletic team. Mary Rose Roach, my opinion, MVP of the league. She did it today as quarterback. She's done it as running back. She plays great linebacker. A great win by Philly. Sets up next week. Terrific game. Philadelphia just dominated this up front, especially the second half. And, Sean, the numbers, um, I think, are going to be very clear. This is Philly's game. It sure is. Chance to rematch there. You see it, Tommy. 0 for 3 on fourth down by Philly, but 0 for 2 in Tampa. A lot of evenly matched total yards, but great job by Philly controlling the line of scrimmage. And we got a great one next week, Tommy. We'll see a doubleheader from Jacksonville. Good night, everybody. All right, we'll see you again in two weeks. We'll show them who's the better team. It has nothing to do with the other team. We beat ourselves tonight. Mentally, physically, we were not in the game. It's not how we play. So.